Yo, yo, Rengulius here. You are watching Wrench Feels Like Playing Swarm Grinder. Uh, we're back at it again. Uh, we're gonna continue on playing with this game. Uh, we unlocked a couple of things last time. I think we uh, figured out how to uh, kind of how to play this game a little bit. Got to really kite all of your enemies. I'm just gonna pick uh, the regular guy here and uh, give her a go again. Um, it's a bit challenging here. You essentially make your own challenge by creating basically mining spots, but the spots that you're mining also have your enemies in it. So it's like, uh, it's a bit of a catch 22 with moving into certain directions here. I found early on, you kind of want to, uh, run to the uh, upgrades as quickly as possible uh, while you can because the timer kind of dictates how how many enemies spawn so you, uh, the quicker you get to upgrades the better, especially early on okay, we're just gonna oh shoot, did not mean to do that I meant to go to scatter shot there Arsenal. I'm gonna go Arsenal. This makes you uh, do more damage and uh, more projectiles as well, I believe. I'm gonna go scatter shot this time. Uh, we are gonna go with RF magazine size. allows the uh, gun to shoot for a little bit longer. Uh, I'm gonna go scatter shot again. I'm gonna go RF. Maybe the afterburst shot here? Um, no, nah, we're gonna go with the magazine size again. Gun. I'm gonna go Gatling Gun. This one usually generates the most good damage. Uh, we'll go with the mini gun. Increase magazine size by 50%. Oh shit. Use the guys who blow themselves up. I'm gonna hit Arsenal. Gonna go global pierce count by one. Nope. Here we go. Railgun took care of that pretty easily. Gatling gun again. Um, I think I'll go mini gunning too. Easy to kind of get yourself trapped. I'm gonna go minigun three, increase magazine size by 100%, and also range by 50. That's pretty huge. Got the boss here, just kicking his ass. Oops. Got 
one hammer. Uh, I'm gonna go railgun, or I guess this is what we killed the boss. We go attack speed for the railgun. And arsenal. Global count by one, so all our weapons shoot one more projectile, sweet. I'm gonna go railgun, or gatling gun, sorry. I'm gonna go burst gun, increase attack speed by 20%. Increases cooldown by 10, but... Gatling gun. Burst gun two. Raises your attack speed. Lowers cooldown. Scattershot. Go RF Magazine 3. Increases rapid fire skills magazine size by 50%. I'm gonna head to this hammer. really notice fuel consumption all that much it seems like fuel it's it is a big thing so it kind of fuel kind of just makes it so you kind of have to constantly attack enemies like it gives you an incentive to keep attacking i'm gonna go ricochet here bullets bounce off enemies by one so it's pretty good yeah, let's head towards upgrade here Gatling, gatling gun here sweet so we got the overheat or the uh like the uh special upgrade here so increases global ricochet count by two brave soldier increases gatling gun damage by 1.5 and attack speed by 125 uh, below 50 health shoot twice with 40 percent angle might go with overheat global ricochet count yeah, no, I'm gonna go ricochet boost. All my guns ricochet now by two. It's pretty decent. Okay, so we're gonna have a lot more enemies now. Shot. I'm gonna go piercing. Pierce count by one. I'd say that's pretty good. Definitely want to head to the hammer, but let's get this upgrade first. Actually, I'm always gonna want to head back, so let's uh, head up to the hammer here. Might take a bit to get there. Man, if you 
don't pay attention, you can easily get kind of trapped. Especially with those damn scorpions that like circle around. What do we got? I'm gonna go scatter shot again. Go piercing again. of a lot of damage at this point. I think the piercing by two definitely helped a lot with the scatter shot. Oh yeah, the damage towers are the best. Um, Gatling gun. First gun, three. Increases global cooldown by uh, 10%. Nice. And then we got the hammer here. Oh yeah. Let's go, I think we get both of these. So we're gonna go piercing three, pierce count by one, and then uh, let's get this other one. Ooh, ooh, uh, upgrade here. Okay, so bullet storm. Every skill, every shot increases its attack speed by 2%. Just burst, after burst. Now shoots double projectiles. Also, scatter shots magazine drops to zero. What the fuck? Uh, snowflakes. Increases global duration by three per times and decreases global projectile speed by 0.75. What? What does that mean? Snowflakes increases global duration by three times and decreases global projectile speed. That doesn't sound good. I don't actually like any of these. For, I'm just gonna go with Bolt Storm, I guess. For every skill, every shot increases its attack speed by 2%. Resets on cast. Not entirely sure what that means. seconds for another swarm. I'm gonna stick by this damage tower. That'll help a lot for this next uh, wave. What do we got? I'm gonna go Gatling Gun. Ricochet too. And we're gonna stick to this damage tower here. Attack speed too. At this point, kind of really sitting pretty with how powerful my guns are at this point. I just gotta really kind of just pay attention to where I'm at and try not to take stupid damage. 
any more upgrades at this point is just bonus. I think I'm pretty powerful at this point. speed 3. Global attack speed by 25%. That's freaking huge. Now we're even more powerful. Like, holy crap. The tier 3 upgrades are pretty, pretty insane. Gun. Ricochet three. Hell yeah. Bounces off two to four enemies at this point. Fuel pretty fast at this point. We're gonna go rapid shots, increase attack speed by 25%. Damn, son. Going through fuel like crazy though. Just gotta really kinda be aggressive at this point. Just keep on the offensive. Make sure I don't have too much lull in between attacking. Field. Should be good. I'm gonna hit railgun. We go sniper rifle. Increase pierce count by 25%. And clear field. So. Oops, oops, oops. Don't die stupidly. head towards the uh, last marker here. I definitely have no troubles getting through enemies at this point. everyone. Don't take stupid damage. Good there. Just missed it. We're not really taking the boss down too quickly though. Not gonna lie. Okay, there we go. I think we probably just weren't really shooting at it directly. Here we go. Damn. Didn't mean to take that. Mission accomplished. Look at that. 500,000 uh, damage with our Gatling gun, 100,000 with our rail gun, and 50k with our, our uh, scatter shot. 
Wish I kind of gave you DPS. Okay, sweet. So we just uh, beat that guy. Let's go back to the lobby here. Let's go to workshop. We have 56 upgrade points here. Might as well just keep going with loot. Um, I'll go knockback, explosive, or burn chance. Let's go with knockback again, 35% increase. Okay, so maybe we will have to try a different character this time. Oh, shoot. We can upgrade the... I didn't mean to do... Okay. So we're going to up the difficulty here. I didn't know that I could do that. We're going to go... Uh, evolution 1. So there's six evolutions. Drill count to win is increased. New enemy type is added. Enemies' health and movement speed are increased. Final boss difficulty increased. Items. Poison drone gadget can be discovered. Three new items. Ammo box, scope, and cavalry sword. Okay, so we're gonna go with the next difficulty up and see what this is like. Hell yeah. Okay, let's give this a go. We're gonna go railgun. Try to clear as much as possible. Gatling gun. Ricochet one. Scatter shot. Probably just gonna go with the very familiar guns just because it seems to I, seems to work, so. Railgun. Mag size one. I don't know what I need to clear here. Is this glitched out? What the hell? Oh no, there's a gold thing in the middle there. Battling gun. Go minigun one. Gatling gun again. Ricochet two. That's two. Three. Oh yeah. The second hammer. Oop, got a new weird enemy type, a jelly. Oop, kinda ran into the railgun there. We'll go mag size. Increase mag size by 100%, decrease pierce count by a negative one, so a little bit of a uh, negative there, but we'll survive. 
taking a lot of stupid damage there. Let's go Gatling Gun. Oh, come on. Go Minigun 2. wonder what this thing is here. It's like a big arrow. Oh, got another boss type enemy type thing. Oh, what's that? This is where Hero lays down. You have salvage scope. Common item. Global crit chance 5%. Cool. Gun for sure. Come on. Uh, mini gun three. Increases magazine size by 100%. Also increases range by 50. That's crazy. We killed the boss. Awesome. Uh, we go RF magazine size one. Railgun. Attack speed one. I know we're kind of just taking everything we already took, but we are on a higher difficulty, so I am kind of just going with what I know works. Awesome. Okay, so we got our uh, big upgrade here. I'm going to go Gatling Gun uh, Overheat this time instead of Ricochet Boost. We two shoot two different rays of uh, Gatling Gun, I believe. Could be wrong on that. Some action, I'm detecting a wave of enemies. 24 seconds. You have salvaged poison drone. Holding down the gadget, gadget control key creates a poison trail that will remain for five seconds. The poisonous trail deals 10 damage to enemies and characters that come into contact with it. Every time a cell is opened, the poison tank fills up with a certain amount. If the poison tank is empty, the gadget will not work. Okay. I think that's not something I'm like I can use right now, but that's just like an item I just picked up. That I could uh, equip later on, I think. Stations are useful, maybe we should find some mobile. I don't know. Okay, so here's our, uh... Shouldn't be too bad. There we go. Got our another hammer. It's our third hammer? Hell yeah, look at that. That was easy. Uh, I'm gonna go with the railgun here. Attack speed 2. Attack speed 3. Global attack speed by 25%. Uh, awesome. Okay, so we got our crazy one here. So, increase global pierce by 4. Times 4. Decreases cooldown damage by... Decreases global damage by 0.5. Splitting bullets. Railgun bullets split into 3 for 1 time when they hit an enemy. After splitting, they deal less damage. Charge bullet. Every railgun bullet consumes 20 fuel deals 115 more non-scalable damage does not work when fuel bar is empty. I'm gonna go splitting bullets here. That should be fine. Already have two special abilities with our railgun and our gatling gun. Hell yeah. We're in a good spot right now, I think. Railgun again. I'm gonna go chasing bullets this time. Increase the seeking power of bullets by three times.
I kind of got stuck there next to one of those blobby enemies. I wonder if they like intentionally like slow you down or something maybe. I know when you take damage you can slow down. I'm gonna go railgun when I uh, feel comfortable here. Chasing bullets too. Starting to get into big pools of enemies now. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, active skill damage by 20%. Oh, uh, yeah. Already noticing that pretty, pretty significantly. Global Pierce one. Okay, so we're eight minutes in. None of these are all that good. I'm actually gonna re-roll this. I'm not a fan of like the uh come on. Let's railgun it. Chasing bullets three. Increases seeking power of bullets by two times. So that goes up to eight now. Whatever that means. I'll just trust that that just means it hits enemies no matter what. Let's go down a bit actually here. Plenty of upgrade locations on the map. Wow. Okay, um, let's go Lucky Charm. I think that just increases my uh, crit chance, I think. seconds till we uh, get to a little bit of a burst here. Six, five, four. Yeah, let's back off a bit. Let's get to the cooldown area. Gives us a little bit of help here. Damn, almost died there. Should be fine. Should be good. There we go. That was close though. Go Arsenal again. Global Pierce by one again, so not bad. Probably upgrade my scatter shot if I even have it yet. Yeah. 
Gatling gun. I'm gonna go first gun, one. Watering enemies, no problem. Eleven and a half minutes in. Gatling gun again. Go burst gun two. Something tells me those uh Things that run in lines are going to be the thing that kills me in the end. It's really hard to escape all of them once they start really zoning in on you, especially if you have a lot of enemies around you. Damage station? Not bad. I like these things. Let's go scattershot. You go rapid shot, increase the attack speed by 25. Again, for sure. First gun three, global cooldown minus 10%. Awesome. Scattershot. Spam. Decreases cooldown by 20%. Rapid shot, attack speed. Kind of want to go with spam here just to get it. Yeah, I'm going to get a spam here just to get it. Decreases cooldown by 20%. That's pretty huge for the Gatling gun here. For the uh, rapid fire, sorry. First gun. Scattershot. Jeez. I know the guns. Jeez Louise. So we're almost 14 minutes in. Probably gonna have another wave at 15 minutes where I'm gonna have a hard time. Rapid shots too, attack speed by 25% again. Freaking huge. Just gotta now make sure I'm on top of fuel, so I just gotta keep a good maintain on uh, attacking enemies here. I drain fuel like crazy. Uh, I gotta go south, it looks like. good because I created a good path for myself. Damn, I might actually have done really good there. By accident, completely. But there we go. Survive that. No problem. Push scatter shot. Rapid shots three increases attack speed by 15%. Also increases damage by 50%. Hell yeah. Let's 
go to the center marker here. 27 meters away. That's the boss. Final boss. Nice, we got a cooldown station here. Fairly close. Ooh, took a lot of damage there. That's not good. Come on. Get some health back. Yeah, I know I'm almost there. Don't need to take any unnecessary damage. Just kind of clear path. Have patience. Fight them back. Clear path. Got it. Now we gotta fight the boss. Wonder if it's kind of similar? Yeah, it's, it's fairly similar. I'm dead. I'm dead. Damn, dude. That slows you down like crazy. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna survive this one. I almost got it halfway. 12. What does that mean? Why did I have a counter on it? There we go. Come on, come on. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Got him. Complete evolution one or higher. Hell yeah. Unlock garage. Is that a new mech? Rank up. One rare item. Guided bullet. Hell yeah. So I did 750,000 damage with the Gatling gun this time. 280 with the uh, rail gun. 36 with the scatter shot. Hell yeah. Okay, let's go back to the main menu. Fucking right, dude. Oh, I unlocked the garage. What is the garage? Probably items? What is this? From rank four. We're trying to unlock rank four. No, I, I am rank four. Okay, sweet. One rare item. Guided bullet. So dash? So does that mean I get to add another ability? Scope? Guided bullet. Global hit chance or crit chance 5%. Guided bullet, rare item, rapid fire, pierce count plus three, rapid fire seeking power 50%. Whoa. I'll take that. Pierce count by three and rapid fire seeking power by 50%. Hell yeah, that seems ridiculous to me. Um, I don't necessarily want to give up dash. I'm not going to give up dash. Looks like you can unlock a like, couple more for this guy. So you unlock stuff as long as you're using the same uh, mech, it seems. Workshop. More deadly bullets. Upgrades designed to slaughter aliens in mass. Ideal for more stronger area damage. Meteor. Not everyone can use launcher skills. They're laborious to ignite and take a long time, but every time they use them, you realize that they're worth it, right? Crown. Success is guaranteed. Meet the most legal and powerful upgrades you can find, and there are no cons at all. Give it to us bio shards and start enjoying the life. 600. That's a lot. Pretty cool upgrades though. Increase global count by one. Decrease cooldown by 15 of all skills. Yeah. Increases damage by 40%. Like that's a pretty intense. Uh, pretty intense there. 
I'm actually gonna go probably with uh it sucks because it's gonna take what is this actually upgrade here? So blades area, blades, blades. Magazine size, crit chance, attack speed. So we're gonna go with storm because I like guns better right now. And then we will go attack speed probably. Attack speed, evolve rapid fire skills by 10%. Yep, we'll do that. We still have 30, so I'm actually gonna go back to workshop. I'm gonna unlock loot. The third third one of loot. And we can go. I'm just gonna keep going with knockback here. Max that one out, and then we'll probably go with explosive damage after this. Or maybe. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I might not even continue upgrading this area then. It's fine. Okay, so we could probably go up another difficulty level here. Rank four. Bullet Storm. We're gonna go up level two, div evolution two difficulty now. Just gonna go with uh, dodge still or dash. And here we go. Scatter shot. Probably just gonna keep going with the similar similar build that we've kind of been going with. It seems to work. Just try to maximize gatling damage as much as possible. We're gonna go pacemaker. Gatling gun for sure. I'm gonna go ricochet one. Item that we can pick up here. Oh, 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 I'm almost dead. Holy shit. Railgun. I'm probably gonna die here. Go we'll chasing bullets one. Calvary Sword. Blades area 10%. Just a uh, item upgrade. Go rel gun again. Oh, nope. just chasing bullets too. First hammer. It's definitely a lot harder, that's for sure. Enemies are not dying as fast. Oh shit, here we go. Pacemaker. Go max fuel one. Increases our fuel by 20%. Definitely tend to be taking a lot of damage on this run.
I guess we'll probably see new enemies as well. Give me Gatling gun, please. Uh, Railgun. Uh, we will go attack speed one. Rapid fire magazine size by 25%. Ammo box. Cool item. Try to get as much health as I can here. A little worried about those ones that shoot, like, go, uh, shoot the line the lines at you. I feel like they're gonna be a lot faster now. It's gonna be a lot harder to evade them. I'm gonna go for Gatling Gun, as long as I can run into it, not, not the enemies. I'm gonna go Minigun 1. shot. Jeez. Ah, I did not mean to do that. I don't even have any explosives right now. That was a mistake. Just trying to get away. Let's get the hammer. Five minute mark. These damn blobs are pretty gnarly. Oops, I just I don't even know what I upgraded there other than the Gatling gun. Damn it. Okay, so we got the boss. I'm almost I'm almost dead. Health would be nice. Oh, I'm dead. Damn, I'm just trying to, at this point, I'm not even looking for upgrades. I'm just trying to survive at this point. Damn. It's got a lot harder. Oh, give me some health, please. A little bit. Gatling gun. Ricochet three. Oh, Gatling gun again. Hell yeah. Here we go, minigun two. Maybe we'll go burst gun. We'll go burst gun one. A little bit of health there. Uh, I'm gonna go piercing on the scatter shot. Definitely need to get to the, like the the level three upgrades as soon as possible. This is rough. Uh, I'm gonna go railgun. Go chasing bullets or no? We're gonna go attack speed two. Increases attack speed by 50 and damage by 50. It's huge. Oh, 
Oh, well, at least we got our health back up. Gun or Gatling gun, sorry. Go burst gun too. We head towards the last hammer. Damn, it's real tight. Excessively hard. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Gatling gun again for sure. Hell yeah. Okay, okay. Increases global ricochet count by two. Do I go overheat here? I'm gonna go overheat. Just increases the amount of damage the Gatling gun can do by a lot. Essentially double, I guess. like freaking scorpions that like mosh pit around you it's very distressing it's weird it's like it's so confusing to really know what they're doing because they all they just move around you i don't know if they shoot maybe they shoot projectiles at me that i just i'm not really paying attention to they're definitely distracting when they just like circle around you okay 30 seconds before another uh Burst here. I don't know if I'm gonna survive this next burst. Probably not. Damn it. Let's scatter shot there. I'm gonna go spam one. Yeah, I'm gonna probably uh, eat shit right here. Oh my god. Two, one, damn it, here we go. Oh, well, that wasn't too bad for now. No, we opened up a big enough area where that wasn't really too bad. Just gotta kinda move in a circle. Got him. Get the hammer. Hell yeah. Railgun, railgun. Damn it. Missed it. Attack speed three. Global attack speed goes up by 25. It's freaking huge. Chasing bullets three. Increases seeking power by two. Goes up to 12. Go Gatling gun here. Go gun burst or burst gun three. Decreases cooldown, global cooldown by 10%. Huge. Got a damage tower. It's nice. For 11 minutes. Definitely getting those level three upgrades is, is massive. Another damage station, awesome. Scatter 
shot. He'll spam two. Damage increases 2% for every negative one cooldown reduction. Don't necessarily know how much that actually helps us, but. Okay. We are taking care of enemies pretty well, but I'm still not very confident that I'm uh, enough of a level to actually win this. I'm worried at the 15 minute mark, we're just gonna, uh, we're gonna have problems. Go Gatling Gun. And you got two. Not too sure what the pink one actually is. What's the difference between the pink one and the other ones, but let's get this one. Another boss? 13 minutes? A uh, railgun? Ooh, okay. I'm gonna go splitting bullets again. Because I know it works. Damn, got hit by the boss. Halfway down the boss. Is there two of them? Am I crazy? No, there's only one of them. Uh, scatter shot. Spam three. It decreases cooldown by 20%. It's huge for the scatter shot. Detonator. Doesn't really matter. Gonna go just with the increases active skill explosion chance. At least this will do something for us, maybe. Gonna go with sniper rifle one for the railgun. Rapid shots one, increases attack speed by 25. Huge. Okay, 30 seconds away from the next big uh, burst, which is kind of scary. Seconds. Four, three, two, one. Maybe I created enough a big enough area where this didn't really matter too much. Kind of looks like it. Not bad. Wasn't too bad at all. Oh yeah, what do we got? What do we got? Gatling gun, fucking right. Minigun three. Increases magazine bus size by a hundred and also increases range by fifty. Freaking hell. That's huge. And that just like changes everything, I think. As long as we're not stupid and we don't just run right into enemies. Should be fine here. Uh, pacemaker for sure.
Each current fuel decreases global cooldown by... It's not very much, but I guess we usually are overflowing with fuel, so... I'm gonna go with Fission Engines 1. I wonder what it takes to actually get to the clearing of the field. Like, what's the requirement to actually get to that one where you actually have the final pause? Because it's not a timer thing. Is it an amount of upgrades you got kind of thing? Or... I'm not entirely sure. Scatter shot. Piercing two. Increase experience count by one. That's pretty huge. Kind of move in a nice C shape here. Stuff rebuilds pretty quickly, it seems. Scatter shot. Ooh, look at that. We're gonna go bullet storm. Every skill shot increases attack speed by 2%. Take three level specialty upgrades in one run. Hell yeah. I'm out of, I'm out of uh, fuel, though. Damn. Lead fuel at this point. Last field. Here we go. What do we got? What do we got? Scatter shot. Pierce thing three. Pierce count by one again. That's freaking huge. Okay, let's go to the boss. I'm almost dead, man. Try to get to the boss before 20 minutes here. I don't know how possible that's gonna be. No, I'm probably gonna have to experience another big ass wave here. Kinda scares me a bit. It, so I've got to really kind of I don't know what I'm gonna do here. This is gonna really suck What's this? Experimental packages these upgrades are extremely powerful, but also risky to use if taken you could change the course of the entire mission If you don't want to take a risk, you can just skip these upgrades and earn a bio shards Focused bullets Doubles rapid fire damage, but halves rapid fire range and projectile lifetime. Wow. Devastating strikes. Multiplies rapid fire damage, projectiles lifetime, range by 1.5, but also multiplies rapid fire attack speed by 1.66. That's a bad thing? Why would lowering my attack speed, like, be a low thing? Multiplies? Like, why would I not get that? 
Multiplies, like I'm trying to see the bad in this. Multiplies rapid fire damage projectile lifetime range by 1.5, but also multiplies rapid fire attack speed by 0.66. I guess timesing by a a decimal lowers the speed? Doesn't look like it. Looks like a like, railgun attack speed, 2.9... 2.59 to 1. Point, like, why would that... This doesn't seem like a bad thing to me. Is maybe that just burns through fuel a lot faster, maybe? I'm gonna take Devastating Strikes. And maybe that's probably... probably It probably burns through fuel like crazy, though. I'm gonna take this, though. Run's almost over, so... Let's just see how this goes. I don't see how there was a bad thing there, man. That seemed like all good to me. I'm definitely like lagging like a motherfucker. Holy shit. There's a lot of enemies on the screen. And it's like really chopping the game up. Yikes, I don't think I'm gonna make this one. Rough, dude. Yeah, I'm dead. Damn. Damn. So close. I'm still alive. Oh my god, am I gonna get this? I got it. Holy shit. Wow. Unlocked cave map. 100 bio shards in one map? Holy shit, I just unlocked a bunch of shit here. Wow. So Gatling Gun does 864,000 damage this run. Scatter Shot finally went over 100,000 at 160k. Railgun did 500,000. Like, wow. Did a lot more damage this run. Gnarly. Uh, let's go back to the main menu. Finally beat uh, a tier 3 run too. Like, just back to back to back. Not too bad, not too bad. We unlocked some new upgrade slots. So ammo box for more ammo. Rapid fire magazine size by 25. This one is huge. Guided bullet. Which is the one I'm using, I believe, right? Yeah. Which is the rapid fire pierce count by three. Like, that's huge. And seeking power by 50. Um, scope. Like, crit chance 5% doesn't seem like much. Calvary sword, common. I oh, common item, cotton item. Rare item. That's why. Because it's a rare item. Sweet. That's why I'm using it. Okay. Workshop. I have 143 new gems now. Well, I'm gonna keep going into storm. You know what? No. I'm gonna go loot here. Get the last upgrade here. I'm gonna go with the uh, explosive damage. Or no, no. Earn chance by 3% of all like, active skills. health regen by 0.2 per second. Well, I'm going to unlock a bunch of those then. I can unlock 10 of these. Crazy. So we're going to go temple. Forty. Fifty. We're going to go health regen for sure. Yep. Health regen again. Nice. So we get a bit of health regen now. These next upgrades cost a uh, cost a pretty penny. Sweet, awesome. We unlocked a new map, cave, and probably another level. Yep. Yeah. Oh no, what is this? Let 
Yeah, difficulty three on the cave. But well, difficulty three is on uh, all of them. So I just had another difficulty level. Sweet. Okay, sweet. I think that's where we're going to end it today. That was freaking awesome. Unlocked a bunch of stuff. Beat a bunch of levels here. Back to back to back. Hell yeah. If you liked what you see, uh, feel free to drop a like and subscribe. It really helped my channel grow a lot, and I would really appreciate it. Until next time. Peace.